Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Welcome to our new tutorial video. So since you are grade 11, in the future you will open your own bank account. Then you will encounter the different terms in your bank. We have the simple interest and the compound interest. In this video, we will be discussing the simple interest. So first, let us define what is simple interest. Simple interest is the amount of money charged by multiplying the principal amount with the rate of interest and time. So notice we have the principal amount, the rate of interest, and time. So time can be in days, months, or years. It has been charged. So our formula for the simple interest is interest is equal to PRT, wherein P is our principal amount, R is our rate of interest, and T is our time. So take note, I or interest is equal to P times R times T. I is equal to P R T. You will also encounter the maturity value. So maturity value is the principal plus the interest. So this is the total amount of your money after a certain time. So we have the formula. The amount is equal to principal plus interest or the amount is equal to principal plus our formula for interest, PRP. We just substitute. The I here is substituted from PRP. From here, we can derive another formula if we're going to get the common factor. So amount is equal to our common factor is P, so P, quantity 1 plus RP. So if we're going to check, P times 1, that is P, copy the plus sign, P times RP, that is PRP. So this is our formulas for maturity volume. So they are all the same. Note. The principal is sometime, sometimes called the face value or the present value. So to, to better understand our simple interest, let's have this first example. Example number one. Angela borrowed 120000 from Joseph. If Angela agreed to pay an 8% annual interest rate, calculate the amount of interest she must pay if the loan period is A, 1 year, B, 9 months, and C, 18 months. So we're going to calculate the amount of interest amount of interest so we're going to use our formula interest is equal to p r t principal principal amount times the rate times time so let's start with letter a one year Let us back to the formula. One year. Okay, I will write one year here. So we have the formula. I is equal to principal amount times the rate times time. So let us first find the principal amount. Or the amount she borrowed from Joseph. So our principal amount is 
120,000. Okay. Our rate, our rate is 8%. So we're going to write 8%. We need to convert this percent into decimal. So 8%. So we're just going to move two decimal point to the left. So we have 8 here. We know that the point is located here on the rightmost part. Move to decimal 1, 2. So that is 0 0.08. And our time, for our time, the interest is annually or annual. So in annually, we have 12 months in a year. So we have here one year, that is 12. So one year is 12 months. Okay, now we're going to solve using our formula. Let us substitute the given. So we have P. I is equal to P or T. Substitute. I is equal to 120,000 times 0 0.08 times, so we have 12 months, 12 months over how many months we have in one year? So we have 12, so 12 over 12. Okay, this is 12 over 12. Now the interest is 120,000 times 0 0.08 times 1. Why 1? Because 12 divided by 12, that is 1. So our interest now, you're just going to press in your calculator. So we have 120,000 times 0 0.08 that is 8 percent times 1 so 9,600 the interest after one year is 9,600 now let us try letter B so we're going to use this one. So let me rewrite. Our P is 120,000. Our R is 0 0.08. And our time is, uh, it time is depends on our given or the problem asked. So in letter A, we use 12 months because that is one year. I'm going to erase this now. Now let us proceed in letter B. Letter B. So nine months. Nine months. So interest is equal to Our P is 120,000 times our R is 0 0.08 and our time is 9 months. So that is 9 over 12. So multiply. So, 120,000 times 0 0.08. So, 9 over 12 is 9 divided by 12, 0 0.75. So, 0 0.75.
So let me change in the fraction 0 0.75. So multiplying 120,000 times 0 0.08 times 0.75. That will give us 7,200. So 7,200. That will be the interest after nine months. And now, let us see. After 18 months, 18 months. So we have the interest. So 18 months. So interest is equal to 120,000 times 0 0.08 times 18 months. So 18 over 12. So what is 18 over 12? 18 divided by 12, that is 1.5. So 120,000 times 0 0.08 times 1.5. So multiply 120,000 times 0 0.08 times 1.5. 14,000. So after 18 months, the interest is 14,400. So that's, a, that's on how to compute the simple interest. Now it's time to check your understanding. Answer our example number two. Now it's time for you to answer our problem number two. The question is, Angel borrowed 5,000 pesos with an interest rate of 10% per month. What is the simple interest after eight months? And what is the maturity value after eight months? So Angel borrowed 5,000 with interest rate of 10% per month. So monthly, there will be an a 10% interest rate. Try to answer our two questions. Pause the video, then after answering, you can resume watching to check your answers. So, let's check. Our formula is interest is equal to principal times the rate times time. So, our principal here is 5,000. Our rate is 10%. In decimal, that is equal to, move to, to the left, 0 0.1. 0 0.1 or 0 0.10. And our time is 8 months. Let us find our first question. So, substitute interest is P, 5,000 times 0 0.1 times 8. Notice in this case, we are not going to divide by 12. So, unlike our example number 1, we divide it by 12 because our interest rate is annually. In number 2, our case is, or our time is, or our interest rate is monthly. Okay? So that's the difference between the two. Now multiply. Five thousand times zero point one times eight. So four thousand. Four thousand. So the interest 
after 8 months is 4,000. And our maturity value, so our maturity value is the principal plus the interest. So principal is 5,000 plus our interest is 4,000. So that is 9,000 pesos. After eight months, the money will become 9,000 pesos. So, what is 10% of 5,000? That is 500. So, every month, Angel will pay 500 pesos as interest. So, 500 plus 500 plus 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500, 500. 500, 500. So, 8 times 500, 4,000. So that is the simple interest. Our, your next lesson is the compound interest. Stay tuned for our next video and please share this video to your classmate. Don't forget to subscribe in order for you to be updated in our upcoming videos. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.